For Complex News, I'm Frazier. Last week, a man by the name of Keith Ranieri was arrested while hiding out in his $10,000 a week Mexican villa. You may have heard of him. He was said to have been the man behind Nexium, a group that posed as a self-help organization that is also, reportedly, a violent sex cult. Actress Kristen Krug, who everyone in their late 20s should remember as the stunningly beautiful Lana Lang on Smallville back in 2001, is said to have joined Nexium sometime in late 2005 or early 2006. She says she took courses to get past her own issues with shyness, but others say Krug, along with fellow Smallville alum Allison Mack, went from being slaves to slave master. Reports say that Ranieri specifically encouraged actresses to recruit other women into Nexium, primarily to become a part of a sex trafficking circle they were running. Frank Peralto, who initially broke the story, says that people would call Allison Mack Pent Mack for the work she'd done for Nexium, and while she's not spoken out against these allegations, Krug did release a statement regarding the allegations against her. Krug said that at the age of 23, she took an executive success program, or what was called an intensive personal growth course. I left about five years ago and had minimal contact with those who were still involved. The accusations that I was in the inner circle or recruited women as sex slaves are blatantly false. During my time, I never experienced any illegal or nefarious activity. Krug then thanked the women who have spoken out about allegations of abuse and more that they experienced in Nexium. In the fall of 2017, the New York Times reported on the experiences a number of women say they had during their time with Nexium, which involved everything from being shown disturbing images and videos to reports of being branded during weird initiation ceremonies, as well as allegations of blackmail. Now, to no surprise, Ranieri has denied all allegations against him. Hopefully now that he's in custody, more information about what really went down at Nexium will come to light. For Complex News, I'm Frazier, and for more stories like this, keep it locked right here to Complex News on YouTube.